Photoshop. Okay. And then I'm going to click on this thing here. And then I'm going to go paste it in here. And then I'm going to go image, canvas size. It says, I think this is a 2K map, so I'm going to go 2048 by 2048. Press OK. Yes. And then we're going to press Control T. Scale this up. Control A, Control X, Control V. And we're just going to delete the bottom bits. We're going to flatten. We're going to flatten this image. Okay. Now we're going to say save this. Computer. I'm just going to call this brick wall. I'm going to copy the location of this and I'm going to hit save. I'm going to press OK. And let's minimize all of this for a second and bring up the other thing. We're going to click here, create new material. As you can see, it's blank. We're going to go to where that texture is. I'm going to turn to this mode. And we're just going to simply grab and drop it here. It says 2K image to AI powered. Press OK. And let it do its thing. Just like yesterday. Beautiful. So, if I, you can see the seam, but if I press T, oh yeah, I already pressed T in here, so yeah, you can see the seam here, but as you know what we're going to do, we're going to take this, it's on ground category, so we're going to leave it there, and we're just going to like add in our... equalize it kills all those little shadowy effects we could drop down the radius uh, let, it, let it load I think that's it then we could go over here and type in height we're gonna throw that we're gonna throw that on top of here And then in the height to normal, you see the if you can see the intensity of this increases. Uh, how do I learn this? I watch tutorials on YouTube how to do this. So, so I want to give. Um, and there's not a lot of tutorial, but there's quite a few. So I encourage you to um, check it out. So, so yeah, let's try that. But as you can see, it's still not telling, but don't worry. We're going to um, put 
put a dirt. Remember Alex was saying if we could add stuff, so I'm going to put a dirt. And the dirt, click on it. The dirt, you could you could play around with the quantity is more or less up to you the volume how, how dirty you want it spread all that jazz the blur all that jazz So, um, I'm going to tune down with the volume a little bit. I'm going to rotate my lights. Also, if you want to drop like a hue and saturation up on here, you could. You could turn this brick into like a different color. Saturated. So you have a total different brick color. Alright. Now we're gonna um we're gonna put a Color replace and I think you could see what it does. Okay. You could layer a different color on top of here, by the way. All right, um, don't have to make it red. Don't have to make it red, you can make it any color you want. I'm wondering one thing though, if you could invert I'm wondering if you could invert this thing here. Uh, so we have this effect on top of everything. Let's try that. Now we could add the tiling on top immediately we add it we still seeing some seams here for example so if we go back to base color and just smooth this so you see it is gone move that slightly Perfect. The 
to sign that. Play around with the dirt. Side that and that'll be a good time to save our file. So we add some more stuff that I learned how to do. Um and then I'm just like showing you I so basically I showed you some stuff that was on there before and then I can add some more things um that like some more new things like color, saturation, dirt. These are three new things, so yeah. Um yeah, let's export it let's name this texture. Recall and I'm export. Man, I'm going to open up Marmoset. Then I'm gonna let's open recent this and then I'm gonna save this as brick wall. Now I'm going to go click on here and then I'm going to big this up, click here, click date modify and uh, for the height, I'm going to select here, drop it in the displacement. For the normal, I'm going to select here, drop it in the normal, for the roughness, for the albedo, I'm going to select here, drop it in the albedo, for the roughness, I'm going to drop it, drop it in the roughness, and I think that's it, if I play this, I need to select the light probably, increase intensity, and and then I'm going to go to my um, 
I'm gonna go to my render settings. Okay, let's go take a look at it. And here we go. 